During the Ordovician period, the climate was very warm and CO2 levels were very high. Look around and you won't see any animals you recognise. Neither will you see any trees or flowers, no grasses, ferns or almost any other kind of vegetation. Life on Earth at this time was under the ocean. It was a time where evolution was doing a lot of experimentation. The end of the Ordovician was kicked off by Earth's thermostat firmly flipping to cold. And much like our own current mass extinction situation, it may have been the contemporary species successes that eventually caused their downfall. There is a hypothesis that it was the evolution of some of the plants on land that might have caused the drawdown of CO2, which triggered the glaciation at the end of the Ordovician. Not many plants had made it out of the ocean, but those few mosses and warts that had eked out life on land by the end of the period would have a big effect on the planet. Their very presence on the rocks would be enough to weather and erode them, creating soil and enhancing the absorption of CO2 from the atmosphere. 